Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Octopath Traveler. So we're picking up with chapter four of Primrose's story. So let's get started. And well, since I said that, too busy being bad at Smash to play this. The story so far. In her hometown of Noble Colt, Primrose brought down this second of her sworn foes. There she was also reunited with her childhood friend, Simeon. He approached her tenderly, yet when he bore was the gift of pain. Simeon's scarf unraveled, grasping Primrose's fingers as she fell, laying bare the mark of the foul crow on his neck. The friend she cherished so dearly was the last of her foes, the man who had brought death to her father and ruin to her family. What motives could the man have for his vile deeds? Primrose could not begin to imagine. But it mattered little, for her ultimate goal was clear. All would come to an end in Everhold. No travel banter, only moving forward. Of course. Come now! <laughs> oh, hark unto the tale of the girl pure and true, who in all her too fleeting life knew such misery as no other ever knew. Thank the heavens. <laughs> Quite right. Yes. I should mm. really turn that off. Oh. <laughs> oh my.
What? Okay. Apparently I can move when I wasn't paying attention. Okay, sorry. Up, down, left, right. Where am I going? Over here. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? No, we can't. We can't sell anything like What's anything. Next? Let's go. cares about you. Very good. <laughs> I see.
not forgive this. Shush! No. Come now. That's...
That's right. This is what he would have wanted for you. To throw away all your hopes and dreams for the sake of revenge. My father is gone. I don't think he'd be happy at all. I think he'd say this. Live not for me, for I am dead and gone. You must find your own happiness. Father. Primrose, will you dance for me once more? I wish to burn the sight of you into my memories, that it shall never fade. Yes, Father. She will need to be strong, indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her shoulders. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. Quite the dancer yourself, in the end. And I know that, deep down, you have a good heart. Primrose, you must find that faith in yourself. I will send you to your father's side. Now two remain. Lady Primrose, what do you believe in? She will be strong. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. Yes. It reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. This man should not live a moment longer. I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> But someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. I... 
I... What... What has this all been for? But no. Father would understand. And this... This will be the end of it. When I plunge this dagger into your breast, it will all be over. I will finish this. Perfect. Yes, just perfect. The depths of emotion that burn in those eyes. That is the girl I fell in love with so many years ago. A woman truly worthy of my genius. Now, come to me, Primrose. And let me bring this beautiful tragedy to a close. Time for the main event. An interesting dilemma. Lux Conjurer! Next. No one's weak. Okay. I am ready. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Shooting stars. Here's our foes. <laughs> what? Sweep. Oh, Primrose needs healing. It's my turn now. For you. Yeah, I got. I, I think you're Coming gonna have a bad time. Yeah, come. Windhield, fight. Yes. Thou didst fight with courage. No! No, something's not right. This isn't enough. Not yet! We still haven't seen the full depths of the darkness inside you! Show me more, Primrose! Show me the darkest shadow in your heart! You hate this, don't you? I regret nothing. <laughs> Foolish girl! You think your father would be proud to see you like this? Bloodying your precious family heirloom for petty revenge? Tell me, have you even visited your father's grave? No. First, I must do what must be done. When I can look him in the eye and tell him he is avenged, then, and only then, will I go. My poor little Primrose. How you lie to yourself so. Can't you see that you're running away? You can't bear to face your father, to show him your blood-stained hands. This was never about avenging your father, was it? You were simply trying to fill the emptiness in your heart. But you couldn't accept that. So you twisted your memories of your father beyond recognition, until you convinced yourself that he would want this! Uh. 
It's true, isn't it? You speak nonsense. How did it feel when you killed my men? Did that fill the hole in your heart even a tiny little bit? Enough! Shut up! You can admit it, Primrose. You don't need to be strong anymore. Stop it! Just... stop! You have no place in my heart any longer! Father... Can I tell you something, Father? Something I've never told anyone before. The truth is... I hated it. I hated my life without you. I hated the loneliness. I hated not having you by my side. But it's almost over now. Please, Father. Forgive me. Come now, Primrose. It's okay. Abandon this madness, my dear girl. You don't need to lie to yourself any longer. That hard look on your face doesn't suit you. You know you were made for softer things. I am Lady Primrose of House Azelheart. And I swear on my ancestor's name. And on my father's blade. I will not lose faith. My faith shall be my shield against you. Oh, we're fighting again? What the hell? Come on. Time for the main event. What's this? Well, shit. Uh, da 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 da. Ten of us over here. Next. No good. Stay strong. Oh shit, she's nearly dead. No good. How about this? Come in, if thou darest. Better than a snare. Now, what next? My turn now. Letting my arrow fly and true. Holding back nothing. Windhild, fight for this. Dagger, okay. An interesting dilemma. How about this? My turn now! Let 
me help. No good. Sorcery. Shit! Oh, that's not good. I am ready. Thou darest. This will help us. <laughs> Let my arrow fly in true. Hold them back nothing. Windhild, fight for this. That should be it. That is it. Oh, yeah. that could have gone badly. Thou didst fight with courage. Bravo. Oh, bravo. I have seen the full depths of your heart. It was more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And now, for our climax. Come, Primrose, and plunge your precious dagger into my breast. Every show must come to an end, Primrose. It is time to lower the curtain. And when the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow, would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer, for it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Goodbye, Simeon. Yes, Amber! At long last, I can face you again. I did as you always taught me, Father. I found a cause I could truly believe in, and I kept my faith. Since the day that you were taken from me, I swore I would avenge you. And avenge you I did. Even now that my long journey has ended, and I have done all that I set out to do, why? Why does my heart still ache with this hollow pain? 
What am I supposed to believe in now? What cause will carry me on from here? But this is something I must find for myself. And until I do, I will keep dancing. And so this is the end of Primrose's story. And I believe that was the final uh, of all the characters. The final chapter. Primrose was the final one. Okay. So it seems like a good place as any to leave this story. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you want, there's a playlist to the left, a random video to the right, and if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at CGPoorly.